In some communities, the snow is still very much an issue. You've got to dig them out. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and get the roads open. Still causing problems and frustrations. This plow crew answered a mutual aid call from King County and came up from Ording to plow in the Redmond Ridge area. It's not until you get out here that you realize that, that there was a lot of snow that fell out here. And, and you know, people, we, people yesterday and today just have been stuck in their homes, haven't been able to get out. The storm kept so many from going out and doing their normal activities, including donating at the blood center. Supplies are now at a critical stage. Just keep some pressure on there, okay? Typically, we try and keep our blood supply between three and four days, and right now we're only about one to one and a half days. Things got so bad during the storm, they had to get blood supplies from out of state. Regular donor Drew Hindle was back in the chair this morning, but admits this last storm kept him at home. I thought about going out a few times when I didn't need to go out, and I thought, I don't really, I'm going to be really upset if somebody runs into me or I get stuck somehow. Hindle and blood thinner workers hope as things return to normal, the snow melts, and pathways are cleared, it will leave more donors here where they are desperately needed. I am incredibly grateful for everybody that comes out just because, I mean, you never know. The blood that you donate today could be the blood that potentially saves your life tomorrow. And if you want to get some more information on donating, Blood Works Northwest actually has an app that you can put on your phone. It will tell you where the nearest donation site is. It'll tell you the hours. And keep in mind, it's only about a 45-minute commitment to do a donation that can save as many as three lives. We're live tonight in Redmond Ridge. Amy Marino, King 5 News.